Good day everyone. So for today's video, I will be showing you on how to use um, Google Meet on your laptop and desktop. Okay? So let's say here. So let's say yung presenter or yung teacher nyo has sent to you the Google uh, Meet link. So what you'll do is you click it. Okay? So, mapupunta kayo sa site ng meet.google.com. Okay? And then, make sure na yung email nyo, yung email nyo dito is tama. Alright? So, you can actually switch account uh, depending on what email is required uh, to you. And then, meron ditong ask to join. Now, make sure na naka-off yung camera, naka-off din yung microphone, para hindi siya, um, hindi maingay doon sa ating Google Meet, kasi nga marami pa tayong mga participants. Okay, try to off first. And then, click as to join. So, I am using an incognito here. And this is me, the host as well. So sa host, kapag kinlik na yung ask to join, may magpapap out dito na you are asking to join this one. So yan. I'll just click on admit. Then once I click it, nandiyan na, nandiyan na kayo sa Google Meet. So ganito ang mangyari dyan. Oh, so yan na, yan na po. So let's say, um, your classmates or the other participants are not yet here in the Google Meet. So, as you can see, we have meeting details in this part. Just have to click it. And then, click on copy joining info. Info. Okay? So, yeah, copy meeting link. And then, you can send it to your group chat. So, ganyan po ang mangyayari. Then, once they click it, gan uh, same thing, uh, magpo-proceed sila sa meet.google.com or if they are using phone, mobile phones, um, automatic mapupunta sila sa application ng uh, Google Meet. And then, let's go here. Uh, we have turn on your microphone. So, if you're not the presenter, kung hindi ikaw ang presenter, kung hindi ikaw ang teacher, kung hindi ikaw ang host, uh, you can turn this microphone off. This is very important. Turning off your microphone will reduce the noise inside the Google meeting. Okay? Next, yeah, leave call. Of course, hindi nyo kailangan pindutin to unless matapos na yung uh, meeting or yung class. By the way, uh, once na nag-red pala itong turn, uh, yung microphone icon natin, ibig sabihin, naka-turn off na siya. Same thing with our camera. So, pag naka-red siya, tapos ganyan ang icon, ibig sabihin, naka-turn off yung camera. Now, if you are actually using a Wi-Fi and then your teacher would require you to um, turn on your camera, then turn on your camera. But, pag meron tayong mga problema sa signal, or limited lang yung data natin, you can just ask your teacher, or the host, or the presenter, um, to turn off your camera. Okay? So, magre-reduce siya ng data usage. Ayan. Okay? So, pag tinurn on nyo yung camera, dapat maayos yung background. Okay po? So, since maraming makakakita eh, maraming participants ang nandyan. Okay? So, next, let's go to turn on captions. So, let's say um, your, your earphones, your headset are broken. So, hindi siya functional. So, naka-speaker lang kayo. You can turn on captions. It will help you 
on um, catching up with the lesson or with the uh, presentation. Okay po? So, turn on captions. Now, itong present now, if you are not the presenter, if you are not the teacher, if you are not the host, hindi mo na kailangang i-click yung present now. So, yung teacher lang, o yung presenter, or yung host, ang may karapatang mag-click ng present now. Unless, sabihin ng teacher, or ng host, or ng uh, presenter, na mag-report kayo. Okay? So, present now. So, yung teacher, i-click niya yung your entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. So, pag kinlik yan, ganito po ang mangyayari. So, sa your entire screen, yung buong screen ng monitor nyo. Kung ano yung nakikita nyo dyan, yung kabuuan yan, yan po ang magpa-flash sa uh, participants site. So, sa site ng mga estudyante, yung entire screen ng laptop, ng desktop nyo. Now, if you click on a window, Kung ayaw niya naman yung buong screen ng monitor, ng screen, ng, ng laptop, or ng desktop nyo, click on a particular application window. So, click on present a window. So, may mga options tayo dyan. So, yan. Meet, meet, meet. Okay? So, yan. Kinlik ko siyang open. Ayan. So, let's say meron tayong example na um, PowerPoint. So, magkakaroon sa option nyo na share an application window. Pag kinlik natin yan and then we share it, ito ha, ipapakita lang natin for the sake of tutorial. So, yan. Ito lang ang magpa-flash sa side ng participants. Okay po. So, yan lang ang magpa-flash. Hindi makikita yung tabs, hindi makikita yung site na to, kundi yung buong PowerPoint lang ang magpa-flash. And then, stop presenting. Now, yung Chrome tab, let's say your teacher or the presenter or the host will share a YouTube video na may audio, syempre. So, eto ang gagamitin niya. Share a Chrome tab. Alright? So again, if you are a participant, if you are a member only, if you are a student, hindi nyo na kailangang i-click yung present now. Kasi para lang siya sa host, sa teacher, or kung sino man ang presenter. Now let's go here in the three dots, yung more options. Okay, so meron tayong change layout, full screen, uh, turn on captions, same thing with this, uh, settings, use a phone for audio, report a problem, report a views. Now, let's click on change layout. So let's say, ang dami nang nasa Google Meet. Tapos gusto nyo rin siyang silang makita, yung mga nakaturn on yung camera. So the best option is sidebar. So makikita mo pa rin yung um, presentation while seeing the other participants on this side. Okay po? So, yun po yung best option natin. Now, kung wala namang pinepresent yung teacher or yung presenter or yung host, pwede tayong mag-tiled. Or, let's say, um, gusto nating uh, i-highlight yung nagsasalita, we can click on spotlight. Kung sino lang yung open yung microphone, sino yung nagsasalita, spotlight. Okay? So, but since I am a student and I want to see the uh, presentation, I will click on sidebar. Next, full screen. So, kung ayaw natin makita yung other tabs, if we full screen natin siya like this. So, to avoid um, distraction para hindi kayo makapag-Facebook Facebook or whatsoever. Next, turn on captions. Same thing with this. So, kung uh, nahihirapan kayo na intindihin yung sinasabi, pwede nyo i-turn on yung captions para mabasa nyo rin. Parang subtitle lang ng movie. Next, settings. 
So yan. Sa settings, meron tayong audio and video. So make sure na functional yung speakers nyo. Naririnig nyo ng maayos yung host. Um, so let's say, uh, tatawagin kayo ng teacher nyo or ng presenter para sumagot. Dapat ang microphone ay uh, nagagamit din. Okay? So yan. Video. So kung marami kayong camera, if you are using two or more cameras, you can choose one. And then you can set the resolution to high and standard definition. Okay? Same thing with this one. And then general, ganyan lang po. Report additional diagnostics to help improve this product. Alright. So, yan. Use a phone for audio. So, this is actually applicable for uh, mobile phone users. So, kung nag-install uh, kayo ng uh, Google Meet sa Play Store, you can uh, check this one out. Use a phone for audio. And then, report a problem. Kung meron mang problem sa Google Meet nyo, then report abuse. If someone is abusive in the Google Meet, you can report uh, them. And then, help. For additional information regarding Google Meet, you can just click on Google Meet Help. And then, meron silang mga um, information dito like troubleshooting, settings, and uh, so on. So, yan. So, we're done with this one. So, baka magtanga kayo na hindi nyo ma-click ng maayos. Pag, uh, pag minove nyo yung mouse nyo, tsaka lang siya magpa-pop out. Okay. So, ayan. Kaya, medyo, uh, dapat, uh, dapat alam nyong uh, i-manipulate yung Google Meet. Kasi baka mataranta kayo, gusto nyo nang i-click yung uh, microphone, or yung video, or yung present now. So, make sure na naka-hover yung mouse nyo dito sa side na to, sa babang side. Next, let's go to this one. Yung people, you'll be able to see other people's name. Uh, in this site. Ayan. You can also click and then pin them. Ayan. Nakapin. And then unpin them. Alright. Next. Chat. So if you want to say something, if you have some questions, you can just chat in the chat box like this. Okay. So ayan po. And then, yan, chat, ganun din yun. Same thing with the, yan, this one. Chat, and then yung time, and then yung ikaw. If you want to pin yourself, you can just click this one. Pero hindi advisable na ipin yung sarili ha, because you are listening to the presenter. You are watching, you are viewing the presentation ng presenter or ng teacher mo or ng host. Okay, and that's it. That is how you use uh, Google Meet in your laptop or desktop. Now, in my next video, I will be showing you on how to use Google Meet using your mobile phone. Okay? So, Tagalog version tayo para maunawaan ng mabuti. Okay? And... Uh, that's it for today. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Bye.